one. Oh my god, this thing is flying up. It is Sunday morning. I'm, well, it's almost noon. I'm about to go meet my friend, and we're going up to the Met Cloisters today. I've never been. I don't know what neighborhood it's technically in. It's like north of Washington Heights, so we're taking the A train all the way up there. It's like an hour, so a little bit out of the way, but it's like an extension of the Met. I'll have a better idea of how to explain it once I'm actually there, but I wanted to start this vlog today. It's Sunday, so it's a weekend. Not starting on my very bare minimum Mondays because I did want to document the Met Cloisters because I'm excited to see it. So I want to get a few clips um, to start off the vlog there and I want to show you guys my outfit because I'm so stoked to be wearing this coat that I got in my newly. I vlog from last week when I unboxed it and I talked about the brand and the sizing and stuff, but it's getting its first trip out on the town today and Ah, I'm so stoked to be wearing it. It's so cute. It's perfect for the weather. The high is only 62 and it's going to be sunny. So it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm wearing this little shoulder bag with it and these boots for the first time, which I'm anticipating I'll probably be doing a lot of walking. So hopefully they're comfortable. We're going to say a prayer. But yeah, it's already getting a little bit warm wearing this inside. I'm wearing this Princess Polly bodysuit because it matches one of the tones in the jacket. That's what's nice about there being like four or five different colors in here and I can pick out the shades that match it. So got the cream pants on. These are Pilcro by Anthropology. Bag I got at Primark and the boots I just got at Target. Let's go have a lovely day. We're gonna meet at a coffee shop and then jump on the train and spend an hour on the train. Here is the look in the mirror. Fun. I also have these Sunglasses on because I feel like they kind of fit the retro vibe a bit. Quick interlude to talk about the sponsor of today's video. I'm working with Ritual and I'm so excited because I've definitely been trying to be more on top of supplements, nutrition, especially going into the winter, which is where their Symbiotic Plus comes in. Symbiotic Plus offers immune support, gut support, digestive support made with two of the world's most clinically studied probiotic strains. And because it's a three in one, it's a prebiotic probiotic and postbiotic, which are all important for different reasons. Gut health has always been a big priority in when I'm trying to like balance my nutrition and support my immune system because 70% of your immune support comes from a healthy gut and probiotics help contribute to a healthy gut. And for me with my own inflammation issues, eczema, etc., it can all kind of be traced to the gut. And honestly, daily disturbances like poor diet, travel, stress, or using certain medications can throw your gut off kilter. And that's where supplements like Symbiotic Plus can offer that additional support. The reason the three in one is so important with the prebiotic and postbiotic and the probiotic, wow. So the prebiotics support the growth of beneficial bacteria and then the postbiotics support the gut lining. And this product in particular is great because their delayed release actually releases it in the colon instead of the stomach. So that's where the probiotics work best. And it's super easy. You just take one cap daily so they're shelf stable they also smell so good they're like minty so if you have like a sensory thing with supplements that taste weird I've had that before but these literally it smells like mint candy <laughs> you can take it anytime with or without food so you don't have to be like trying to be super regimented with it just once daily whenever it works in your routine and it tastes minty fresh so I've loved incorporating it into my daily routine and taking it every day to kind of support that gut health and also just getting ready to go into the winter and bolster our immune systems as much as possible but also just always you can go to ritual.com slash christyv30 or use code christyv30 to get 30% off your first month of ritual so that's a great deal link down below like I said ritual.com slash christyv30 and use code christyv30 
Okay, we're back now from the cloisters. That was such a fun little afternoon. It wasn't as sunny as it was supposed to say, or it wasn't as sunny as the weather promised, which is slightly disappointing. So this light is very blue. Um, I guess that's better. It was nice. It wasn't like too big of a museum. There was a few different cool exhibit rooms to go through, and then the cloisters was in the middle, little courtyard area, and it was beautiful. Garden, they had so many flowers in there. It was just so nice, so I'm really glad that we made it up there. It definitely is a trek, especially coming from Brooklyn. I think it's like one stop away from the end of the line on 207th. And hike is a very strong word, but it's like up on a hill and you're going on some, it's not that bad, but I'm getting at, I wore these booties thinking, I don't know, I just didn't do any research about like the terrain to get to the museum, but it's a bit uphill and these were not the shoes for it, so. Um, my feet are a little bit in pain, but that's okay. I'll survive. Then we took the train back and I just ate some food really quick. And now I'm wearing this cute little Wednesday Adams sweatshirt that says I hate everything. I'm headed over to my friend's apartment. We're all going to meet up and have a little like Halloween girls night. Not like anything crazy. I'm going to stop by Target and get some of those cute little ghosty sugar cookies and ice cream. We're going to make little ice cream sandwiches out of them and just have snacks, hang out, catch up, watch a movie. Cozy, 60 degrees outside, lounge outfit of the day. <laughs> Wearing my flare leggings from Polara. I'm still so obsessed with these, you guys. Uh, the cross front ones, and they're so comfy and flattering. This sweatshirt, by the way, is Viable NYC. She makes really cool custom little designs like this. Not custom, but seasonal things and this vest I got at Zara. Let's go see what we find at Target and have a cozy girls night. For a second but then i remembered i was just totally vlogging yesterday so we're continuing on now we're getting into the week sunday was so nice you guys saw we went to the met cloisters it was beautiful then went to my friend's apartment we had a little movie night and i stopped at target and picked up some snacks we made like little gluten-free cookies and had candy corn and stuff like that and wine and we watched Practical Magic, which I had never seen, and it was so good. It was definitely a little different than I was expecting. Like, I didn't think there was an exorcism involved. Seeing Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman in a movie together was pretty iconic. Yeah, very cute. It's on Hulu, if you haven't seen it either. But definitely a good movie night, Halloween, not really scary movie kind of vibe. I was looking for those sugar cookies with like the ghosts and the pumpkins and things on them which are the most iconic Halloween cookies. But Target was wiped out. Like the only thing they had were Sweet Lauren's gluten-free cookies, which is still a win. Um, but I was bummed that we didn't get to do the sugar cookies. But yeah, I thought that they would be everywhere this time of year, but I guess they're harder to find than I thought because my friend was like, oh yeah, those are always sold out. Then I came back and read some of my book and went to bed and I've spent the morning editing last week's vlog. So now we're caught up. I just need to do the thumbnail and schedule it. It's gonna go up on Wednesday and then I'll finally be back on track because there's a little bit of timing. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna do a little workout this afternoon and I was gonna go grocery shopping, but then I realized like I have enough food for today and it's also a holiday. It's Indigenous Peoples Day, but I don't really wanna go grocery shopping in case it's crazy busy. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna go tomorrow and I'm gonna get supplies to make chili. The first chili of the fall. It's always a great time in my household. I'm gonna go through my cabinets right now and see what kind of canned things I have and what I need to get when I go to the store tomorrow. I just looked in my cabinet and I have this unopened box of Earl Grey tea that is not where it should be. And I don't remember buying this, but I'm gonna have a bag of tea right now because that sounds lovely. I definitely am missing some things though. I need like diced tomatoes and obviously a ground turkey, etc., and some corn chips because can't have chili without corn chips. Earl Grey tea smells so good. I went to Radio Bakery with a friend a while ago, not the most recent time I went. It's also a really good bakery in Greenpoint if you're in Brooklyn, but they had this like Earl Grey roll. I tried it and it tasted like 
Fruit Loops, but it was so good. And I feel like Earl Grey kind of has like very warped Fruit Loop flavor. I don't know. Make my thumbnail and then we'll get ready to head to the gym. Monday vibes. <laughs> such a good mood nothing feels better than like where's my head nothing feels better when you're in a good mood and then you just like put on your favorite music and do a little like inclined strut on the treadmill and that is what I'm going to do right now work out happy Tuesday <laughs> I was fully gonna go into Manhattan today and then got completely sidetracked and um, got swept up now instead um, I'm gonna do a workout and then come back and shower and make chili and have a lovely fall evening. That's all. Cheers. Loving the empty chair. Chili time, folks. I got the onions, red pepper, and garlic sauteed, and I'm about to add the ground turkey and spices. Oh, there we go. That was faster than I anticipated. So we're gonna break this up. I got 93% lean ground turkey. This is the recipe I always follow. It's from Ambitious Kitchen. Ambitiouskitchen.com slash seriously, the best healthy turkey chili. <laughs> All the ingredients are now in, and now we bring it to a boil and then let it simmer for a bit to combine all the flavors and get the seasonings in there. Yum. Even though it had withdrawn from Gaza, Israel was controlling imports and exports, it was controlling the seacoast, many people felt in any real legal terms, the occupation continued. So Israel developed a policy in a way of tolerating Hamas. It's the next day now, I'm listening to updates about developments in the Israel situation. Obviously the news of the attacks on Jewish people in Israel were really jarring. It's been really heartbreaking to see how many civilians and their families and people were just harmed and killed and traumatized by this attack and also Palestinians as well who have been suffering and will only continue to suffer as a result of this attack. So I'm trying to keep updated and like learning about what's going on and my heart really goes out to anyone. If anyone knows anyone who's been impacted by this, this episode of The Daily I'm listening to is about Israel's plan to destroy Hamas and I just can't even imagine how many Palestinian people are going to be a cost of, of that and civilians should never be a cost of conflicts. So yeah, it's definitely a heavy week in that sense. I think a lot of people are feeling it and news is everywhere of this, which I think is important for people to know. I really hope there's a de-escalation and we see less violence, but I just don't know if that is how it's looking. Anyway, I am getting ready now. I have a call in 30 minutes. And then this afternoon, I'm going into Manhattan to meet up with a friend who's been out of town. We're gonna do some work together at hotel. There's um, this hotel in, I don't know what I would say it's in. Maybe like Flatiron, Union Square. It's called Freehand. I stumbled on it with a couple friends last weekend, the weekend before. And they had this really cool upstairs space, which would be great for like co-working. So we're gonna go there and then they have a bar, a rooftop bar called Broken Shaker that opens later in the day. So we might do like a little happy hour after that. I'm gonna continue listening to this as I finish getting ready and then prep for my call. Okay, later in the day, I'm headed out. I'm wearing this little vest that I'm renting from Newly, and I'm going to 
um, meet some friends at Freehand. It turned out to be, I thought we were gonna do some like work in the afternoon there, but we pushed back to evening, so we're just gonna meet for drinks, and I got everything done that I needed to here. So, yeah, it's a sunny evening. I'm excited to see the rooftop. such a fun time getting drinks with my friends it was such a beautiful night on wednesday we went to broken shaker first which has this big outdoor rooftop i tried to get a clip of and we were there when the sun was setting they had happy hour which was great got a couple snacks and then from there we went to a bar called ampersand uh, around the corner and that was super cute such a good drink menu first of all like all of the cocktails sounded amazing and we all got like really fun different kind of drinks looked around at one point and realized that every other table practically was a date um so if you're looking for a date spot um around 23rd street i think that's where it was or 24th i got an at-home bra lamination kit you guys know i got my brows laminated for the first time in june and i was absolutely obsessed with it i loved how it looked and also just how it took out all of the upkeep and maintenance because my brows do not hold any sort of shape on their own like even the best gels they'll look good for a bit and then fall so brow lamination made it like chef's kiss they stayed in place i just ran a brush through them i hardly even filled them in it is about a hundred dollars for the service and it only lasts six to eight weeks i think i noticed mine kind of going back to the way they were after even like four weeks, six weeks. If you want to maintain that, that's very expensive. So I saw a video on TikTok of someone doing an at-home brow lamination. And the kit itself, I think I got this for like 20 something dollars and it has multiple uses in it. So it's a much better value. But the risk here is relying on myself to do it. <laughs> and I'm kind of scared. But we're going to do this experiment together. This is the Sarah Gold Eyebrow Lamination Kit. I got this on the little prime day they had this week and i think it was a pretty good deal compared to the other ones and it had really good reviews so i felt solid about this choice it comes with lift glue perm lotion fixation nutrition cleanser and then a bunch of tools and stuff it should take like 20 ish minutes we're gonna give it the old college try and perhaps document my failure live. Here's the full kit and everything it comes with. Pretty comprehensive. Clearly labeled, user-friendly it seems. Safety allergy test. Clean the area behind the ear with makeup remover pads. Ensure the area is healthy. I'm gonna do a quick allergy test to make sure that I don't react to these. 12 seconds later. Okay, we're back. No allergic reaction. So what I'm gonna do is put some Vaseline or Vaseline adjacent, that's what I have, um, around the brow so the solution just gets on the brow itself. So I'm going under, over, around the tree. <laughs> First we're doing eyebrow lift glue and brushing them, then the perm solution and then the plastic wrap. So I'm going to pull out the plastic wrap before I put anything on them. Lift glue first, then the perm solution. Wait for 30 seconds, comb it, and then the perm solution. The combs they give are this interesting kind of Y-shaped tool that I haven't seen before, but they have like little tiny, you can't even see them, little tiny teeth on one end, and I guess that's what you use to comb. Um, we'll see. Oh, this actually does make it easier. Eyebrow lift perm. Oh, 
I feel like I'm not convinced that they're perfectly positioned and now I'm nervous that they're gonna like freeze in the wrong spot. You guys, I already feel like I'm messing this up. I'm not confident in my abilities. Now we wait 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. 12 seconds later. I'm gonna take this off and wipe off the solution to change it with the fixation. Again, I feel like they're not the right shape and now I'm like worried. Okay, honestly the shape is not too bad. I feel like they're not gonna be quite as lifted as when I got them done, but whatever, this will help at least. So next is eyebrow fixation lotion, which is the blue toothpaste looking guy. Not really sure how generous you're supposed to be with this, but we are making it up as we go. Another 10 minutes. 12 seconds later. Okay, it says to remove this one with the micro brush, particularly, which is very small. I don't even know if this is removing anything. <laughs> it's so small. I think it will help when I do style them with products. Use the cleanser to get rid of all residue. A little oil to nourish the eyebrow. Okay, folks, they're done. The irritation is actually pretty minimal compared to when I got them done in a studio, but they're pretty subtle, honestly. I do think it helps with the shape because they at least won't fall immediately when I style them myself. Um, are they as good as when I got them done? No, but is that likely a user error mostly? Science point, yes. Now I just won't get them wet for the next 24 hours and then they should be good for the next six weeks. Not the miracle that it was the first time, but I think this is a really good deal for what it is and depending on how they last, I think we'll tell. Also, it felt like these weren't as harsh. Like I remember when I got them done and I was laying there, the scents were, and it was like stinging more and the scents were just more strong, but this was more subtle, I thought. so. Probably not too bad damage-wise, fingers crossed. And also my eyebrows didn't fall out, so that is a win. Okay, it's been a few days and I wanted to do a quick follow-up just about, I think the last thing that I filmed was my eyebrow lamination attempt. And you guys, <laughs> I'm sad to report that it really just didn't do much for me. Again, I do have extremely stubborn eyebrows to begin with, so it was kind of a shot in the dark. Um, I have product in them now, like I put soap brow in them, and so they're still staying in place. I do think it is helping them retain products a little bit, um, but the shape is just not there without anything, and they're still falling down. Like I still had to like brush these up a few times since I put the product down. So if you have brows that take to things like that better, or just other products, it might be great for you, but I think for me, I need like the actual professional treatment for it to work. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was a fun experiment, but I didn't want this to just like end off and then it kind of came across as like, oh, go buy this because I don't think it's necessarily the best, but you know, fun to try. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I know, I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing. I have been a little bit all over the place and also my uploading schedule and everything has been a little bit all over the place and whatever. I just, I've said previously like... There's some things going on and things are changing a little bit. Actually, I don't even know if I said that much. Um, but I haven't been able to say anything yet. Not that I haven't been able to, I just haven't like said anything yet. But finally, I think my next video, God willing, um, will finally be a big update and let you guys know what's been going on with me. Anyway, thank you for your support, for watching this. Love you guys. See you next time. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'm just really excited for everything to come and to share it all with you. So stay tuned. Okay, bye.